Whether you're a seasoned Call of Duty veteran or simply getting started, here are 27 essential tips and tricks that will give you the advantage over other players in the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War beta. So let's start off with adjusting your settings, as the slightest tweaks can really impact the way that you play the Cold War beta. At long last, a field of view slider has finally been introduced. This is the first time in Call of Duty history that players can adjust their field of view on consoles. When adjusting the FOV slider, which you will find in the settings, keep in mind that the higher you set the bar, the higher the performance cost. While it's entirely personal preference, we found that setting the slider between 100 and 105 was a great balance. Other parts of the HUD can be customized as well, so try playing around with the settings and find things that you don't necessarily need, such as the ally health bars. Next, be sure to turn off motion blur, as it can make it difficult to see what's happening. Being able to hear your opponents is crucial, so if you're struggling to hear them, try turning your audio preset setting to high boost. This will make enemy footsteps even louder. Enabling the slowdown and strafing aim assist setting can drastically help your accuracy, but you'll still have to earn those kills yourself. Finally, there is no better time than the beta to test your preferred sensitivity, as you will be surprised at just how much of a difference that a small tweak can make to your gameplay experience. Before we delve any deeper, throw everything that you know about Modern Warfare and Warzone right out the window as we cannot stress enough that Black Ops Cold War does not play like either of these two games. Cold War instead rewards those that play slow and smart, as you will want players to come to you. When it comes to traversing the maps, you will want to avoid traveling through highly populated areas. You will quickly notice that all of the maps encourage you to meet in the middle. Instead, outsmart your opponents by scouting along the outskirts, slowly picking them off as they cross your path while heading towards the middle. Much like other Treyarch games, the time to kill is longer than usual. We've estimated that the TTK is approximately an extra shot longer when compared to the likes of Modern Warfare and Warzone. The new TTK will take a while to get used to, so in the meantime, just remember to keep shooting until your enemies are actually dead. And of course, aiming for the head will always kill more quickly. Keep that in mind when landing your shots. Score streaks have received an overhaul as they will no longer reset on death but deaths will reset your multiplier. These multipliers are important as the score streaks carry some hefty prices. You won't start earning big points until you've reached at least a four kill streak. And of course, a higher KDR will mean faster score streaks. So don't go dumping lives into the enemy opponents. Communicating with your team is crucial in Call of Duty, especially as you face more challenging and experienced opponents. This is why the popular ping system has made its debut in all of Cold War's multiplayer modes. To ping an enemy's location or traps, double tap ping to create a dedicated danger ping. When traversing the maps of Miami, Armada, and Satellite, be sure to keep an eye out for snipers. You can usually spot a sniper by looking for the shiny glints. This will indicate that they're currently aiming down the scope, but hopefully not at you. Don't be surprised to see more shotguns, as the changes to create a class has now placed them in the secondary weapon category, so keep your guard up and traverse those tight corridors of Moscow very carefully. Lasers will not give away your position in-game, so don't be afraid to attach them to your weapons. While it may take a few minutes to become available, the field mic is arguably one of the most powerful field upgrade weapons in the beta. Acting essentially as a ground UAV, the field mic will highlight enemy sounds within a certain radius on your minimap. Movement has also received a massive update since the alpha. With improved movement, strafing has become even more effective. Constantly moving side to side will throw off your enemy's shot, making them much more likely to miss. Hoarding is not recommended, so remember to always use your equipment. Cold War has no weapon flinch, so when an enemy starts firing at you, your weapon and aim will not move. You can now reload while aiming down the sights as the much-loved feature from Modern Warfare has made a return to the Black Ops series. If you're struggling to compete with your opponents during a match, you'll be happy to know that you can now edit and completely customize your loadouts on the go. As annoying as the phrase, can anyone take off that spy plane? Maybe. You'll want to be using your UAV score streaks at all times throughout the beta. As this is your first time playing the maps, a UAV can help you gain a better understanding of popular routes and player spawn locations. Furthermore, try out some of the different weapons that the game has to offer, as what you think may be terrible could just end up being your new favorite weapon as many have changed. 
Here's your friendly reminder to reach level 10 before the beta event ends on Monday, October 19th, as you'll earn yourself a free Mutual Animosity weapon blueprint for when the game launches on November 13th. With all that being said, the biggest tip that we can leave you with today is to simply have fun with the Cold War beta. Forget your KDR and in-game stats, as nothing ends up transferring to the main game at launch anyway. Instead, use this time to perfect your settings and learn the ins and outs of all the different maps and modes that the beta has to offer. For even more information about the beta, be sure to check out the official IGN wiki guide for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Thanks for watching, and for everything else Call of Duty, keep it locked to IGN.